have you heard are the best treatments for kidney stones? Olive oil, beer, lemon juice, cherries? Well, stay tuned and I'm gonna tell you why many of the things you've heard about kidney stones are probably wrong. Thank you all so much for watching today. Make sure you subscribe to my video. Click that like button and hit that bell so you never miss a new recipe or a new health tip. My name is Dr. Blake Schusterman and I'm a board certified kidney doctor. I've met many of you all before. Thank you so much for joining in. Remember this, if you've never watched me before, everything that we talk about today is just information. Nothing that we talk about here is medical advice, so don't confuse it for that. Last week on my show, we talked about kidney stones. And I want to hit them again this week because they're a very popular subject among people who ask me questions and from my patients. I also want to hear from you. What are the craziest things you've ever heard about kidney stones or what questions do you have about kidney stones? I know this, kidney stones can be incredibly painful. They can also lead to long-term kidney damage and they can lead to hospitalizations and infections. I've seen many people have all of these things from kidney stones. So kidney stones are a big problem for my patients and for hundreds of millions of patients around the world. Now look, if you're one of those people or you're caring for somebody who has kidney stones, then you want scientifically based, doctor approved information to listen to. You wanna take the advice of someone who knows what they're talking about, honestly, not just some shirtless, muscular know-it-all who has no medical training, but somehow has developed all the confidence in the world so they can give dead wrong medical advice on the internet without any consequences. You don't want that. And they're probably going to be trying to sell you some supplements on the side. Gotta love the internet. So much of the kidney stone information on the internet fits into the category of unscientific nonsense. So today I want to tackle the top five untrue things that you may have heard about kidney stones on the internet and that I get questions about every single day in my practice. You've probably come across these things as well or had someone tell you to try them. And here's what I want you to do today. First, before we go on, comment and tell me what the craziest thing you've ever heard as a treatment for kidney stones or just kidney disease in general. I want a list of these and I want to tackle them all in a future video. Number one, beer dissolves kidney stones. Have you heard that? I'm sure it was invented by somebody who loves beer, right? And though there was a small study that showed beer drinkers were a tiny bit less likely to get kidney stones, there is absolutely no truth to the myth that drinking beer will dissolve stones or help you pass them. By the time that beer gets into your kidneys and through the ureters to try to help those kidney stones pass, it's essentially just water. And in fact, if you have a stone that is stuck, it gets stuck between the kidney and the bladder and that little tube, meaning it's too big to go through that little ureter, and you keep drinking and drinking beer, to try to force that stone out, that six pack of Budweiser may actually make you feel worse because it can create a backup of urine behind the stone. Ends up like a blocked pipe with pressure behind it. And the more pressure, sometimes the more pain. Now you definitely don't want that. A beer will not dissolve your kidney stones. Number two, a little lemon juice will cure your kidney stones. Like most medical myths, this one is based in half truths. So here's the theory. Lemon juice is full of citrate. And the theory is that by drinking a little bit of citrate, it will lock onto that calcium and prevent that calcium from binding with the oxalate and the phosphate that it usually binds to to create stones. Now in previous videos, I've talked about how calcium oxalate and calcium phosphate are the most common types of stones. So anything that prevents the calcium from being there to bind would obviously be helpful. The key is how much lemon juice you would actually need to produce a change in the pH or the acid-base balance in the urine to prevent those stones from forming. The answer? In 2021, a study was done and it compared people drinking two ounces of lemon juice each day to people who maintained a regular diet. The study was small, but I think representative of the literature. That's why I'm gonna share it with you. Though there was a small improvement initially in stone recurrence, so people having a second set of stones for the people who tolerated the lemon juice, by the end of two years, less than half of the people could actually drink that much lemon water. And many more people who were drinking that lemon water didn't feel good. They had stomach aches or nausea. All that lemon juice just doesn't sit well naturally in people's stomach. The authors of the study conclude that it wasn't a long-term solution 
to drink a lot of lemon juice and that you probably need even more than two ounces of lemon juice every single day. That's the juice of two full lemons every, every single, single day. day. And it's really hard to drink that much lemon juice. Oh my God, I don't think I could do it. The answer instead, talk to your doctor about a potassium or sodium citrate pill if this is what you need to prevent kidney stones from forming. That will do the job instead of drinking all that lemon juice. Or look at drinks like something called Moonstone. Moonstone is a drink that was actually developed by a nephrologist just like me. And that's specifically designed to provide enough citrate to lower your stone risk without making you sick. Number three, tea has a high oxalate content and will increase your risk of kidney stones. Again, this is something I would call a half myth. It is true that teas have increased oxalate, especially teas like black teas. But listen to this study. A study in 2021 put this whole idea into question. It looked at 10 men. Small study, good study. First, these 10 men consumed one and a half liters of fruit tea every single day. And fruit tea has no oxalate. Zero grams of oxalate shouldn't impact the amount of oxalate in your urine, right? So then these men spent the next five days drinking black tea, which has lots and lots of oxalate. And surprisingly, or unexpectedly, if you believe in the idea that tea increases the risk of kidney stones, there was no difference in the urinary oxalate between the two. Meaning when the men were drinking all that black tea, they had the same urinary oxalate as when they were drinking the fruit tea. If that's the case, then it puts into serious doubt the idea that oxalate teas increase your risk of kidney stone unless you're guzzling tons and tons of them. So we're still learning about this. But it's not a done deal that high oxalate teas are a risk factor for people who have kidney stones. Now, don't change anything you're doing based on what I just said. We're still learning. Number four, eating less calcium will help prevent you from forming calcium stones. Survey says X. If you eat less calcium, you might actually make those stones worse, even if those stones are made of calcium. This is why we science and this is why we do research. So if you eat less calcium, you may actually absorb more oxalate. When you absorb more oxalate into your blood, you may increase your risk of oxalate stones forming. So eating less calcium is not the answer. And in fact, you need to eat calcium to prevent calcium stones from forming. Lastly, olive oil will grease the ureters and help you pass kidney stones. This one is just ridiculous. There is just no way that olive oil gets into your urine and creates slippery passages to prevent those stones from sticking and just helps grease the passages so those stones go through. That's ridiculous, not even close. So there you have it. Five things that you may thought about kidney stones that probably aren't entirely true. If you have kidney stones and want to learn more about them, talk to your doctor, or actually instead, first check out one of my friends, Melanie Betts, at thekidneydietitian.org. Melanie has some of the most up-to-date and accessible information about kidney stones on her website. She's also on Instagram, so check her out. You will learn a ton. She's awesome. Thank you so much for watching today. My name is Dr. Blake Schusterman. I hope you enjoyed the program. I'm a board certified kidney doctor and I'm also the cooking doc. If you are interested in more information, go to my website, thecookingdoc.co, subscribe to my channel. I even wrote a book about diet and kidney disease, The Cooking Doc's Kidney Healthy Cooking, a modern 10 step guide to preventing and managing kidney disease. Check that out today and we will see you next week.